that dark, that dark color that we use for the um, shadowing, we're gonna put that in here in between all of these colors. So I'm gonna use that same small brush that I was just using for the wheel, and I'm gonna grab a hold of that paint, and let me check the time. Let's see, usually this shuts off at about 33 minutes. So we're gonna We're gonna see. It looks like it's continuing on. Okay, so we're gonna paint the greenery inside of the barrow now. So what you do is you take this skinny brush, you grab a hold of that green paint, and you literally just pull little eyelashes out from between all the blooms. And we're just literally trying to fill in that space in between all the blooms make little nests for it to sit inside of. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get through this. And again, don't rush because you can make a mistake and it won't look as cute. So just, we're gonna work our way into filling up the entire wheelbarrow. And this is why it was so important to have as many blooms as possible so that there wasn't as much space to fill in. And I'm, I'm pulling it away, always up and away, so that way it's, it's wispy and it looks like it's grass is growing out from between these blooms. You can overlap a little bit of the blooms. You can like go around them. Just We're just giving them a little bit of a, a nest to sit in. Now feel free to let some of that grasses overhang the side of the wheelbarrow too because they're, they're filling it up. Big bunch of grasses and flowers. And we just want to make sure we don't see very many little pieces of the background color in between the blooms. Okay, I'm just going to keep checking the time to make sure that it didn't shut off on me. Because actually what happened to my tulips video is I was painting and I didn't know it shut off and I painted all the way to the end before I realized it. Then when I went to go upload the video, half of it was missing and I had to scramble and put the second part of the video up, but I had to make it first. So I had to repaint half of the design and then come back on and make the second half of the video, which it didn't look the same because it's never duplicate, right? It's always similar, but it just was weird. Like I'd rather just walk through the whole project with you instead of having this dis disjointed video. All right, so we're almost there. Little tiny, little tiny eyelashes, little flicks of your wrist. It starts to feel crazy, I know, but if you have a really nice view to look at while you're doing this, that's perfect for this kind of work. But it will make it'll make a great big difference if you just take your time and really just make those grasses individual, sticking out. It really just pulls the whole thing together.
this was one of the last paintings that I did before the whole world kind of shut down. I did it, uh, had a really great group of ladies. We were at the Creamery in Marysville and um, it was just a lot of fun. Afterwards, all the ladies were taking photo shoot with their paintings and each other. It was so cute. I cannot get wait to get back to live classes. That's my favorite. Seeing all of you. Getting the feedback, too. Like, this is hard. Not having any feedback from you guys and not seeing what you're doing. So please share some comments. Um, share your pictures that you've uh, painted. Share pictures of your, your paintings. I want to see. It's been very quiet without you. It's echoing in here. You can hear it. It's just me. All right. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. And I'm just sticking some little details now here and there. Now, once you've got that all in place, we're going back and we're adding some white. And the white is just going to highlight a little bit of what you've already did. So just not all over the place, but we're just going to add some white here and there to highlight those grasses and give them some depth so that they're, the underneath is going to be a little bit darker because it's under, so it's shadowing, right? And then the grasses on top are gonna really pull that light in between those blooms, which these blooms are so bright and beautiful. Maybe it's Gerber daisies too. We have some Gerber daisies in there. Yeah, see how it just brings it, it brings it, it's brightening it up, bringing it forwards, bringing those leaves grasses forward a little bit and then after that we're going to add some sticks in there too so it's going to be the same brush i didn't clean this brush by the way in between the grasses because the grass is wet and you're pulling that white on top of it and it kind of it's actually blending a little bit and creating a different color. So it's not just white. Some of it turns into like that mossy green too. See, it just gives it, it gives it a little more texture. It's a little more interesting than just the flat grasses, brightens it up. And again, hanging over the, the barrel just a little bit too. Super cute. All right, and then like I said, wipe that brush off, grab some of that brown color, and then we're just gonna put little sticks in. Make sure that this is light though. We don't wanna have super dark sticks, just little light, little light sticks. And you're just pulling them down into the grasses. Just a little bit, and inside too. You can have some inside, some sticking here and there, some sticking out. Light, lightly pull, just drag. If you drag that brush, it will automatically create these little sticks. You don't have to push. If you push, it gets a little bit thicker. It'll make thicker lines. And we're just trying to put like little, little interesting sticks here and there. Good enough? I think that's enough. I'm gonna put a little. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, gosh darn it, my grass is still wet. But we're gonna move forward. So I did add a little bit of white to the wheelbarrow itself, so the bucket. I'm gonna knock some of that brown paint off. Grab some white, just to, for this shiny area here. So if you add a little bit of that white paint, 
and just lightly brush some of that white paint right down here. Gives the illusion that it is shiny again, just a little brighter. And I pulled some down like that. So you've got the rusty metal, you've got the shininess, um, and it just really pulls that whole thing together when you do that. I am gonna do my second coating of brown for the handle. The handle is definitely dry. I'm gonna do our second coating of brown, which you can see it just darkens it up a little bit. And gives it more of like a wood texture look. And then down those legs again. And darken those up too. to that grass. Gosh darn it, I, I must have done it really thick because it's just really not drying or there's not enough air movement in here maybe. You can also um, smear a tiny bit of white on the front leg since there might be a little light touching it. There's no light touching the back leg because it's under but you can smear a little bit of white down the front light just to kind of make it come forward. It makes it, it brings it forward out of the shadow. There we go, see that wood? It looks like a wood tone now. Oh, I also put a little bit on this brace right here. And maybe a little on the hub cap just to give it some shine. Um, so my wheel looks like it's just disappearing into the grass. And I guess that's okay. I mean, maybe that's how this one's gonna look. That one's a little more solid over there. This one kind of disappears off into the grass. I guess maybe. I suggest you take it all the way around though. It's uh, definitely crazy that it's not dried yet. But so, and then there's another spoke down here that needs to catch up into the grass. Does it look like, I hope it looks all right. Does it look like it's just disappearing into the grass and the grass is coming through the spokes? Yeah, it's just super thick grass. We're gonna go with that, that looks good. So we have that version over there where you can see the whole wheel and then we have this version over here where you're just seeing the grass kind of engulfing that and do your best this is a rustic little uh planter so this, this it doesn't have to be super symmetrical we can get away with it looking a little un misshapen like weathered it's broke down maybe it hasn't moved from there a very very long time all right so now we're going to take that white paint for whatever part of it that isn't contaminated and we're going to add it into the original color that you use for the grass. Okay, so mix it all the way in until we get a nice lighter version of that grass. Now that lighter version you're gonna take and it's going to go from the bottom of the canvas and we're just gonna let it kind of go up and over. Now make sure that it's enough, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more white. Make sure that it's enough of a difference that you see a jump in color. We wanna see, we don't want it to be the same as that one. This one's closer and in more of the sunshine. So yeah, there we go, just need a tiny bit more white. So you're just gonna pull that up and it's going to go from the bottom of the canvas and it's gonna kind of envelope it in. So you're just gonna to touch the edge of the dark grasses. We don't want to go all the way over. We just want to fill it in so you do not see a difference or too much of the canvas behind there. So just pull it just up enough to cover that up and to give us some grasses down below. Beautiful. So I'm noticing I don't know if, how much the camera actually sees, but I'm noticing that since my dark grass is still so wet, I'm grabbing some of that and it's getting into my lower grasses. 
I don't, that wasn't the idea and I don't think that it necessarily should happen. Like, I don't think you should try to make it happen, but if it does happen, it's not horrible. It doesn't look horrible. It's just, we're, we're actually going to add white to this. So it's supposed to go lighter, not darker, but maybe it's a little variegated over there. Again, I just roll with it. If we have a problem, we figure out how to make it work can't fight against it and there's no need to get upset. We just figure it out and make it work. I always get green on my elbow. Oh boy, seriously, somebody put an apron on me. Okay, so like I said, I'm just trying to cover up as much of the background canvas color as I can. So you see how we've got that front color on and then we go back and we grab that white and we're just gonna put some white highlights on that grass and it's really just gonna give it its own look down below. So the color is still wet, so it blends slightly, but still has its own <laughs> There's that dark color again. Goodness gracious. Not, don't hate it, but just, I'm not, I don't think it needs to be done, so I wouldn't suggest adding it. All right, almost there. Again, pause so you can get this part done. Don't rush through it. Beautiful. And at this time, now that we've gotten so much of that color on there, you can go ahead and get the bottom done too. There should be plenty of of paint on your brush to be able to get this done. So you can either turn it upside down or do this weird thing that I'm doing right here. I'm trying to do it so you can see. I pull the I pull the paint down around the corner and then I spread it out. So down around the corner and then spread it out. Just so that it has sort of the same look of what is going on above it. There we go. So see, it's almost covered. I'm just going to check the other side. Yeah, looks good. Okay, rest that back down. And then your final touch is going to be to add some white floopies in the grass. So some little white feathery petals of some sort have been, are floating around. And so just kind of that same brush. Oh, I would, I would wipe some of the green off though, so that you actually get real straight white floofies and just lay them around. I'm just making little pulls of paint. It's not a smoosh. It's a dab and a pull. Just these little fluffy things. These are the things that make me sneeze. So whatever these dang things are, Floating around, that's spring problem for me, allergies. Little white floofies. All right, so there you have it. So we can do a lighter, more pastel color, or we can do brighter blooms. You get to choose what kind of flowers you want, how um, colorful they're gonna be. If you're gonna add different colors in there, I mean, you could have purple ones, you could have blue ones, you can do all sorts of kind of stuff in there. Um, and also, if you wanna add a lot of the orange or just a little bit of the orange, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, otherwise, everything is, oh, also the wheel, I forgot to mention. You can make the wheel disappear into the grasses or you can take it all the way around. I'm not sure which one I like better. I can't, I can't decide. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you took the time to go through each step and not rush through it like I just did. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and reach out to me on Facebook, uh, Island Girl Paint Party or at Island Girl Creative Studio. And you can also leave comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the newest videos that are coming up. And I look forward to seeing you all in person real soon. Thank you so much.